Everybody, welcome to the stage, Derek Phelps! Thought I was going to be late to the show tonight. Because I went out to eat, and I wanted to clean up afterwards like a gentleman, you know. And I saw that sign on the bathroom mirror. It said, employees must wash hands before returning to work. So after standing there for a while, I just decided to wash them myself. <laughs> I have a nephew, he's fantastic. I love my nephew, he's awesome. He's like, I don't know. Somewhere, that's it. Just holding his hand like this all the time. really weird. She walks around that way. <laughs> he likes this one. <laughs> I was celebrating recently. 36 years. Clean from heroin. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been hard. On this special occasion, I figured I would treat myself to a very nice meal, you know. So I went to the grocery store, and I bought myself a Totino's Frozen Party Pizza. Because <laughs> nothing says glorious celebration like a tiny buttery cardboard cracker. <laughs> Covered with a ketchup-like substance. And then another layer of cardboard shredded this time. <laughs> Especially the fancy one with the cute pepperoni. Hey, little squares of pepper meat. Call up Totino, we're gonna have a party. <laughs> so I cooked it, because you should do that. And then I ate it. You should do that too, it was very nice. But afterwards, I was super thirsty. And I wanted to cry, because it was my party. And I can do that if I want to, do that if I want to, do that if I want to. You would do that too if it happened to you. But I couldn't, because I didn't have any fluid left in my body. Turns out Totino's frozen party pieces are 32% of my daily allowance of sodium. <laughs> That's a lot of salt. That's like three slices of salt. <laughs> Shouldn't I see it on the pizza at that point? Like if it were 32% of my daily allowance of ninjas on the pizza. I'd probably see them, and they're trained not to be seen. <laughs> All right, people. I hang some of my plants, because I want to let the other ones know that I'm serious. <laughs> I was driving on the highway, you know, and I got cut off. That sucks, you know. Whenever this happens, I always speed up a little bit and I pass them, you know. I look in the driver's side window for an explanation. <laughs> but it never satisfies. It's never like a dog driving. <laughs> oh, Cocker Spaniel, that makes sense. They're horrible drivers. <laughs> but this time it was super satisfying. I looked over and this woman, she had a binder open on her steering wheel with laminated sheets in it. And she was reading it while she was driving. That's kind of dangerous. <laughs> I was trying to think of what could possibly be important enough for her to be reading while she's driving. 
And this is what I came up with. <laughs> Number one, she's a surgeon. She's going to perform surgery wherever she's going. And these are the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, there are directions on where to go. You don't want her to get lost, you know. God forbid. I think it's number three. There are directions, but not where to go. But how to drive! <laughs> she obviously needed it. It was at this point she looked over and caught me staring at her, so I hid behind my newspaper. <laughs> I go flying a lot for my job all the time, flying on the planes, you know. I think, I think the terrorists have ruined everything. They got the guy that made the bomb out of the shoes. Now you got to take your shoes off, you know. And I got the guy that made the bomb out of the water bottle. So now you got to take your water bottle off. I think it's time for the terrorists to do something nice for once, you know. I think some terrorist out there needs to figure out how to sneak a bomb onto a plane inside a screaming baby. <laughs> that way afterwards, the only way to get a baby on board a plane is in a three ounce container. Thank you very much, you guys are awesome. That was cool, all right.